step a little bit forward like that, I could blur out the background. We're gonna use this as a leading line towards you, so. Hello guys, I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, so today is day two of uh, photo shoot weekender, I guess. Yesterday was Chris and then Claire. Today we have two models that are gonna be working together, which is gonna be very uh, unique. I think the last time I did that was in 2018, but this time it's gonna be one male, one female. So it would be nice to portray that uh, through a still image. I'm gonna be taking you guys into today's shoot. I'm gonna be shooting again with, uh, what is this? Like an SL 2S, 24 to 70. In terms of Cine lens that I went for and I saw good recommendation was for the 35 millimeter. It has been working very fine. It's just, you know, it's manual focus and I'm working with the monitor. I have a LUT there. I got this LUT from a fellow YouTuber. His name is Luke. He was the one that did the research and provided the, the LUT for me or for a lot of people. So I'm gonna put it down below like that. You guys have uh, better access to it. I have an assistant today, finally. Somebody decided to step up and help me out. Uh, they're probably gonna, I'm gonna take my reflector with me. They're probably gonna just be bouncing life for the models. Yeah, let's get it. Step a little bit forward like that, I could blur out the background. We're gonna use this as a leading line towards you. For the second photo shoot, I wanted to go downtown in Sofia around the parliament because the architecture there is very um, pastel in the colors and the wardrobe for the models. I asked them to wear like this trench coat, opposite colors of from, from one another like that. They could stand out. I want it to be clean, nothing, very minimalistic basically. I have to give props to Leo because he also came up with ideas on the, on the blind and um, giving me tips on what, what he thought would work better and the scene. I was open-minded to hear his uh, his thoughts and opinion. There were a couple of photos that I was not able to record the behind the scene because we were just running and gunning. We only had an hour so I, I saw a specific situation where the light was just hitting right. I think we were able to capture the essence, the energy, the energy that Leo was giving to Erica and Erica giving to Leo. You get to see this power that maybe Erica has over Leo, that, that's the way I walked away with the photos. That's how I read them, that she has this power over him. He has let go of everything that he has within him and he can help himself to be vulnerable to Erica. And I really like the way that all the photos came out. We're gonna get into the last part of the photo session, but I want to apologize. In the first couple of uh, minutes, I overexposed the shot, so I did, uh, overturn the footage into black and white like that, uh, you're not blinded by the my, by my mistake. So, uh, here we go. You can close your eyes and let me see how, close your eyes. Close your eyes, Erica. One, two, three. I continue on taking photos around the same location because I really didn't want to walk away. I was really feeling the energy that I asked Atanas to hold the reflector on the silver side for I could bounce the light from the sun because uh, both Erica and Neil were in the shadow because like that I don't have to use a high ISO. I like the tunnel vision that you get when I when taking the portraits out of from from a model perspective there. Uh, it's very clean. Uh, again, I was using the reflector, and then uh, there came a part where I needed them to be in the sun.
So we use the diffuser. The, the, the closer the reflector or the diffuser is to the skin, the harsher the light, the more you back out, the softer the light will be on the skin. So I was doing that a lot just because I wanted to make sure that the light was not so harsh where it was just, you know, uh, too much. Nice, hold that right there. Stay in that position. Damn. Can you get on his back? So the same thing that we did over there in the shadow. Yeah, like that, yeah. I'm gonna take a picture, stay right there, don't move from that position. It's very nice though. My overall thought from this photo session, the previous one with Chris and Claire, is that it was just a phenomenal experience. I'm happy that I actually pushed myself to contact the agency and actually see if they want to work with me and I'm very thankful. This is a learning experience and I think that one note that you should take from this is that when in doubt, just go for it. I got to meet uh, Erica, I got to meet Leo, I got to meet Claire. I already worked with Chris, so with these new models, I plan to reach out to them and hopefully we could get new concepts and more we could get more comfortable with each other and the more comfortable you, you get with each other the better the work that you guys create together hope you guys enjoyed today's video let me know your thoughts on the footage that i recorded on the like sl2s with the seven artisan uh cine lens uh 35 millimeter i am really enjoying it. i really did like the footage that i captured from the first first photo session uh especially the clear one there i'm very happy also it goes along with the photos but that whole experience, uh, that extra layer that I'm adding to my workflow is really motivating me to keep pushing myself to you know, get out of my gutter and then think outside the box and how I can bounce back and making video content like this is very enjoyable. My name is Ramon Brito, I'm a photographer, street photographer, street editorial. I like to create content with my camera and I wanna share with that experience with you guys. If you're down for the experience, if you're down for the journey, you know what to do, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification, hit, like the, hit the like button, leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on today's video, past video. Next video, I'm gonna put both photos together as a cinematic experience. I wanna do like a photo journal for the month. So uh, it will be one of those things. I'll see you guys next one. Ciao.